Hello everyone, and welcome to the third installment of my Into the Dead VR playthrough. Today we are going to play, be playing Massacre. And for this, we are going to need a new weapon. So let's go ahead and get in here and grab a new weapon. As I said before, we're saving this one for the, the last game mode, so we're gonna grab war. What is this? Looks like. It looks like. Where is it? It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, the assault rifle. It looks like the assault rifle, but maybe it doesn't do burst fire? Looks like it has more range and capacity. It looks like it's silenced and has a scope. Maybe, maybe the bonus of it is that it doesn't have the burst fire. So anyways, Massacre. This is just like... Wait, there we go. Massacre is just like classic game mode, but instead of the, the game doesn't measure your distance, it measures how many kills you have. And the thing I discovered by playing this game is that Massacre, the playing Massacre gives you the most uh, points. So if you're looking to grind out the game and get a lot of money, by the unlocks, I definitely recommend playing Massacre because you get a lot of money pretty fast. <sighs> Plus, I think this is, this is probably the most fun game mode, other than Hardcore, which is the the final one. So my mission, I'm still on a mission to get more dogs. So we're gonna use that perk, and we'll leave everything else the same. start out with it. Oh, the scope doesn't work. Oh my god, I'm paying attention. I'm trying to see through the scope. It's silenced, that's for sure. It's three bursts. So I'm only gonna get three kills. I don't know how much ammo it has to start with. I wasn't paying attention to that. Zombies out here. But this game was definitely the best way to get money, and I also think it's the most fun. Alright, get a new gun. What do we get? The pistolas. The one shot pistols. Guarantee you 32 kills as long as you don't totally miss your aim. see my score up there. It looks like my current record or my current kill count is at 91 and my best is I think that says 854. And that's counting kills not distance. Give it to me. I got it. And I completed the objective. So by completing that I'll be at the next level. Oh shit, what did you do? Press the button. I miss that dog. What do we got here? We got the rifle. I'm trying to save this so I can line up some good shots there. Yeah, I died there. I died with the revolver. That is another thing. Oh, you screwed up my shot, dog. If you die, you'll have that cross, like, grave in the field, and if you run over it, 
you, you'll be able to pick up the weapon that you died with if you had a weapon. So when I died, I had this stupid pistol. So I was able to pick it up when I died. Oh, what? I thought you were dead. That. I got 150 kills and I got 2,000, I don't know, points, gold, I don't know what the currency is called. So I got a new mission, let's see, kill 100 zombies with grenades, run for 30,000 meters in hardcore total, damn. And then kill 50 zombies with the assault rifle. So two of those I can do in, uh, in Massacre. So, so let's do another run. Don't need that. Let's use the ammo boost so I can get more kills when I have those weapons I need. And let's get the crates too. say no so I think I have to get 50 kills with the assault rifle in a single run because right there it says total total means like it, you keep playing it over and over again to get that goal so I think for the 50 zombies I have to get them all within the same run which means I can't waste my shots Assault rifle is best to save your shots when they're in groups. Because this is a three kill or three shot burst, and each shot goes towards a uh, zombie. So I can do it again. So it carries over. And I start with grenades. Yep, it does carry over. Nice. So you get a hundred kills with this grenade. I have three grenades. Oh, I got it off good. Let's see if I can grab this dog. Give me more points. Shotty time. Oh, I got that off just in time. That's a smart way to play the game, is that you, you spread out your ammo until you're about to pick up a new weapon. There we go. And... Got it. That's something I should uh, say real quick, is that I got that, that, that um, objective done by killing the zombies. Shooting barrels with the gun does not count towards your kill. So, like, shooting the barrels, I get probably, I don't know, like, 5 to 10 kills per barrel. Those won't count towards my, uh, kill objective. No, don't collect that. I 
good feeling about this run. I'm good. Please be a grenade. Oh, this was not a good pickup. Give me a barrel that I can see. Nope, no barrels. New weapon, good, good, good. Had two shots. There's a good way to trip the, uh, to trick the zombie spawner to get in a cluster of zombies in front of you. Because if you keep going straight, yeah, I discovered that the, uh, the spawner will spawn, oh, damn it, will spawn a cluster of zombies in front of you so you can throw the grenade and then move away. Okay, last attempt. Gonna gonna keep all this. Hopefully we get more grenades. Holy oh, shit. There's a barrel there. Where'd my other shots go? Okay, let's go straight. Oh, I got it off, good. No, 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 get my weapon. Yes! Oh shit, dynamite. So if you don't throw this fast enough, that fuse will run out. And blow you up. Oh, I just got that zombie just in time. But the nice thing about the, uh... The dynamite is that it's much stronger than the grenade. And it has a bigger blast radius, I think. 
but definitely does a lot more damage. I just die. I just missed that. Let's get into the doggy. Oh shit, crossbow is not a good weapon to have here. I did pretty good. Alright, well that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, that was the the Massacre game mode. The next video we're going to be playing the Flashlight game mode, which is similar to Classic, except that you have no weapons, you play at night so you can't see anything, except for the glowing red eyes of the zombies, and there's a thunderstorm. And the thunderstorm, when it flashes lightning, it helps you see for a few seconds, and then it goes back to darkness. But the thing about it is that it's called flashlight, so you do get a flashlight where you can see, move around, but um, the battery can die. So if the battery dies, you have to wait for it to recharge, and it takes, like, I don't know, 10 seconds or 20 seconds, something like that. So then you're left in darkness all over again. It's kind of a scary uh, game mode. I thought it was really cool. It definitely is a really unique compared to the other ones so anyways yeah that's it for today's video hope to see you back tomorrow and uh have a good one